Welcome back to East Book 1 and 2 on the PC Engine CD. We're in Hotland. Oh no, someone is watching over me. Because last time we just got through the ice area, we were it was very confusing. And someone's watching over me. And I don't know how comfortable that makes me feel. Well, at least it's not evil. I'm still just gonna leave. Okay, so uh, as opposed to the ice area, this fire area is notably easier to understand what the heck is going on. So that's good. What's up here? I saw a door. What happens if I just keep going up? Another door. Did you have the CD add-on for your Turbo Graphics? I did not. Okay. That was pretty. That was kind of a rare commodity stateside. I don't know how many games actually got made for it either. Especially that got released over here. Get some of that. Some of them HPs back. Ow, ow! Oh, I thought you, like, stepped in lava or something. I mean, it felt like it. It did half my bar. Yeah, I was just looking down, and all of a sudden I heard, ow, ow, and I was like, what, what's happening? Okay, I kind of had an idea that that was coming up, but I didn't know exactly where it was or how much that was going to hurt. I'm glad like it wasn't me. just, like, an insta-kill or anything, though. So anyway, we don't go that way. We go back this way where that other door was that we saw. There's some neat screens though. Like there's a lot more variety in East 2 than there was in East 1. Like East 1 we had... Well, so far we've had more dungeons, I think. Than, or it, it's either more or about the same amount of dungeons as East 1. East 2, let's see here. Because 1 had... It had the shrine, then it had the mine, then it had Darm Tower, and that was it. Um, this one had... It had that whole underground area. Another mine, I guess. was kind of convoluted, but that was there. Then we had the ice area, and now we've got this fire area we're going through. Ice area was kind of transitional, though. Like, there was a boss at the end, but it wasn't, like, huge. Hey, town. Look at all these people. When you get a second, could you go back and talk to that first guy again? Yep. Okay, Kudo's been acting strange. We gotta investigate that. Yeah, kudos to him, I guess. Oh, there we go. Quays. Y you know how you pronounce that, actually? Nope. It's keys. Keys? Keys? In no, keys, yeah. Keys, keys. like, like in the, you have your key ring. A, a ring of keys. Yeah, because I've, I've heard that before, where people go like, oh, it's pronounced like Queez or something like that, or Quee, or like, and it's like, no, it's pronounced Key. It's like, how do you know that? It's because I've seen people, because it's like, it's a geographical thing with... Yeah. Look, I've been around the, the block open. a couple times. Yeah, it's I've seen enough people go like, oh yeah, it's actually pronounced Key, and it's like, why do you spell with a Q and a U? Because That's not English. a K sound. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Because English is three languages in a trench coat. I don't think it's an English problem. I mean, it's not, but it's a romanization problem. Also, real quick, I'm gonna point out the guy you're talking to, the model, and it really comes off as, like, ogre-esque to me. 
It does a little. I mean, he's the got green. that. He's it's got suspended. the. He's got the green shirt. He's got. It's suspenders, wearing... but it's like kind of like the red jacket, the blue hair. Yeah. The red pants that took forever for us to design on. For no other reason than, ah, I'm not happy with the way it looks. And it's like, can we try this? And how about this? And no, try this. And it was just like, pick some pair of pants. And it's like, no, I have to be comfortable with these. I mean, that's how design work goes. When I'm doing stuff on my own, for my own characters, I do the same crap. It's just more of an internal process. Yeah. Uh, see, it's not a fr it's not an English thing. It's a French thing. Okay. Well, the Darn current French spelling. French people. The current the current spelling is French. The pronunciation was from Middle English, and from Old French. Okay, Kudo's been acting weird, and he says the bridge it was broke, but we kind of need to keep going. But he said ever since the monsters attack. So you know what I'm gonna do. So it's just a, another word for war? That's it? Hey, buddy. I didn't let Adol cross the bridge, just as I promised. Now tell me, where is my son? Oh, this guy's got problems. I don't think Adol will give up so easily. What should I do if he comes back? Oh, this is the guy who said if you see a monster, um, smart people play dead. I'm dead now. That's exactly how you played it. That guy doesn't even care. Help! Oh yeah, this is your mod rod thing. Yeah. Alright, buddy, I know your game. What? That goon was really you? Why did you trick me? I don't know, because I need to get across the bridge. People said you were acting funky. Anyway, don't let anyone know what I'm about to tell you. Uh, not long ago, the goons came to this village and kidnapped my son. When they were about to leave, they said to me, A renegade with red hair named Haddle will come here soon. If you want your son back, don't let him cross the bridge. You're responsible. You take re you take responsibility. Tarf. What a name. Tarf? I don't know, dude. I think he may be better off with better parents. Someone with more respect than to name their kid Tarf. You know, somewhere. Thanks for the... Thanks for the hint that... A helpful hint. I allow you to hear even the faintest sounds. All right, well, we still don't know what to do. But there was one other thing that we ran into that was a little funky, and that was back in that first area. Is that anything? Nope. And that was back in that very first area, where it felt like, um, demons were watching us, or something was watching us. And it was like a demon, but not evil. And one of those guys in town said, Hey, how about them keys? So... Maybe... And because this is a video game, I can almost guarantee it, those things are related. So we just gotta go all the way back. This is bigger than I thought. Bigger than I remember. How many screens do you have to go through? Okay, is this the last one? I have Probably a bit. I think this is the last one. Do you have the earrings on? Yes. Okay, so this is our end. Okay, so what you have to do here is mod rod up because they gotta think you're a monster still not coming out but I guess that makes sense they're not gonna just come out and go hopping around no what you gotta do is this evil bell which summons evil spirits or whatever 
one of these buttons. Hey! Uh, when the animals who want to live peace, we are the animals who want to live peaceful lives, and the demons drove us into this beautiful place. Cool. We are friends, aren't we? Why are you attacking me? I'm not attacking nobody. So, a boy being carried off towards the passage of toxic gas. Oh boy, that's where I nearly died. Um, anything else on that? Want to add? Uh, you can get through the gas safely if you have the Rota Tree Leaf. That leaf contains an element that neutralizes the toxic gas. Cool! Where do I get one? I saw a Rota Tree Leaf on the lava bank. You know, for convenience. Uh, you can find it by following the passage and searching the south bank. Got it. Cool, thanks. Aha! Fooled you all! Stab, stab. You can, actually. Take the mod rod off. You can just kill all of them. That's kind of mean, though. Yeah. What do you have to say? I drove those obnoxious duck demons into the passageway between the ice mountain and here. They do not know how to treat us. All right, well, um... Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's All right. For that. Rota tree leaf is buried in the volcanic ash. Actually, you have some other magics. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it's this weird little dot down here. But that's it! We got the Rota Tree Leaf, and now we can go through the Toxic Passage. Which means going all the way back up to where I nearly died before. I do not heal when I'm standing still. I have to have... Fat equipped. I don't know, man. Sure would be nice if that was automatic. Yeah, the game's already had not more dungeons yet, but by the end of the game, it will have had more dungeons. Oh, crap, 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 forgot the... Well, let's heal first. Sure does. Yeah, the game, by the end of it, will have had more dungeons than East 1. And it's got more varied locations, too. Just getting something cool like this. Big bright lava instead of, like... I don't know, a temple and a tower are virtually the same thing. Aesthetically. Sure does. Yay, I don't die! Okay, so we have a passage there. And we also continue this way. Oh god, it's Pepsi Man, but on fire. Pepsi Man! You know, if I knew any of his moves, I'd just throw them out there, but I can never remember. I think the only one I remember is Protean Wave, but that's just because it's clock positions. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Let's go back. Um, this is where I'm supposed to go, but I need something else before I can do anything here. And you get that from that passage that I passed by earlier. Which is somewhere... Okay, guy. Could have just the given blue him a orb. Could have given now, him a limit candy. Would have been fine. Something interesting of note is this blue orb is actually a lot more important than we even think it's going to be. So it kind of makes sense that it's down here in the middle of heckin' nowhere, guarded by someone. But uh, we'll get to that much, much, much later. I feel like East 2 is just a larger game than East 1. 
But again, they were kind of intended to be just the same game. So you can't necessarily say, oh, these are improvements that they made after the first game. And, like, technically I'm playing it all as one game right now, so... Oh yeah, it seems to be their intent was... You know, try to make it one whole game, but they can't be. Yeah, you sent something behind the wall, maybe you're wrong. Oh, well, what if... I just punched it. Someone seems to be behind the wall. You shout through the crack, and you hear a voice. Shut up! Wait up, wait up. Is someone out there? My name is Tarf. I am the son of the bridge guard. I truly hope that you can save me. But I'm afraid this rock is very solid and will be most difficult to break. He speaks so eloquently for like an eight-year-old. Uh, there's well, a demon locked up in here with me. Kill him. The strange the thing is, is that he never attacks me and he can speak our language. Hmm. I think the point is, is if uh, your name's Tarf, you gotta you gotta learn to speak eloquently. Keith, the demon's name is Keith. I quit. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. Can you like switch their names? Can the kid be named Keith and the demon be named Tarf? I'd believe that, hundred percent. No, instead you're going the other way. Oh, which reminds me, there was a guy in the tower that we ran into that I think they localized his name as like. Colin or something. Yeah, this, this is the thing Lenny brought up and goes like, yeah, in the original his name's like Doki. Yeah, and that dude is actually, I don't know if they have any history before this game, but like he just about becomes Adol's best friend. The two of them are always hanging out. You see him in all yeah. like later games together, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I think he becomes like a secondary character to Adol. Yeah. And like I here it was just like, sup, I'm Colin. I remember looking it up, and it was kind of like, oh, it's kind of interesting here. And he wants the blue orb, he says that he can get us out of here. If he has it, please go find the blue orb. Hey, guess what I got? Thank goodness you brought me the blue orb. Hand it to me through the crack. A little to the right. Down just a bit. Okay, okay, yes, thank you. Thank you. I got it. So this kid said, like, something about he's going to suffocate or whatever. If you can fit this whole friggin' orb and hand it from one person to the other, you're not gonna suffocate, kid. Look, Adol, a bright light is flowing out from the blue orb. Oh, the entrance to the prison has been opened. Thank you again, Adol. You are indeed a courageous warrior. I'm going back to the village now. Please come and see me later. Cool, but I'll beat you there. Chininji? Is that who I'm thinking it is? Oh, I, why am I hitting Wikipedia? I need to Google. Chininji. Oh yeah, that's that character from Inuyasha. Yeah, apparently the- How the heck the did you woman, beat me here? Apparently the woman who voiced Tarf also did Chininji's ma from Inuyasha. Hmm. I think it's the like wait, the only wait, wait. there. You must be the warrior who brought the orb. Soon after, the demon held me above his head and crossed through the lava. Then he brought me to the entrance of the village. Oh yes, I almost forgot to tell you. When I was locked up, there was a strange message written on the wall. I couldn't actually read it, but I think it was written by the demon key. Okay, that, do you, this is going to be a stretch, because I don't know if you remember this character, but do you remember Mouse from Reboot? Yes. They also did that voice. Oh, heck, she was all right. Uh, they also did Sonya from Sonic Underground, which is that show, show everyone hated, and I was like, oh, I kind of like it. The story's interesting enough. Um, all right. 
So, I mean, m mostly we hate Sonic Underground because I feel like it had the the animation budget of a loaf of bread. I don't know. I've seen some people on the internet animate loaf of breads really well. Oh, they were an Exo Squad too. That is a really uh, great show. Adult, please forgive me. I was overcome by the grief of my lost son. I mean, I get it. And I'm so sorry. I told you that the winch was broken and that you couldn't cross the bridge. But in fact, I lied. I'm so ashamed. Please forgive me. Whatever. Just could've let me across the safety. Yay! Yeah, he did. Yeah. Could have just kicked the door down and been fine. Fine. Oh, Princess Kazim Kazima from uh, King's Quest VI. So there are a number of items in this game that are pretty easily missable. Uh, for example... Oh, I hate that in games. The Cape of Holy Spirit? This was just in that one cave. Like, how easy it was for... It would have been for us to walk by and not get this game, this item. It's not, like, permanently missable. But it's just like, you can beat the game and not have ever even known that item existed. Mm. So, I... Because the resources for this game are pretty thin, I'm gonna collect what I can, and I'll go back if I realize I missed something, but I do not give guarantee that I'm gonna get everything. But that was cool, though. That demon picked that kid up, and apparently the demon guy was like... Walked through water? Not water. He just looked, walked through the lava like he's immune to lava or something. That was pretty cool of him. I guess. Just carried the kid over. Okay, there's probably a boss coming up soon because we're more or less done with the hotlands. But are they really hot, hot, hot? Oh, Did so you... in the in the first game, I don't know if it works in I don't know if it works in this game. But in the first game, apparently all rings were disabled in boss rooms. So yeah, like yeah, you couldn't heal, but also you equip a strength ring because you couldn't heal. Strength ring doesn't work either. No rings worked. No indication of that whatsoever. But whatever. Um, I don't know if you can't heal. I don't know if that also goes for this game or what. This one lets me sometimes parry attack, so I guess I'll go with that. And I have fire equipped. Hey, it's the final boss of uh, Splatterhouse. I hit the button! Ah! I hit the wrong button. Okay, so Better. ideally, what you want to do is lure that snake thing as far away from him as possible. So he has his mouth open for as long as possible. God, the funny part is just imagining going like, Oh, you know, uh, that ogre guy, he's all like, has to say terrible things and has to drop F-bombs and S-bombs and just ruins Nakit's channel. And here you are occasionally go like, I'm going to play Splatterhouse. <laughs> Look at the blood and bone splatter everywhere! All oh, the organs are going... And it's like, that's our Naka! And it's like, the F, guys! No, I don't know... I mean, there are some people that are a little more sensitive to some things than others. But for the most part, I think pretty people are pretty supportive of, like, you know what, just... You do you. And, like... The funky thing is, and I think I talked about this when we were doing Doom 2016, is I'm not actually super fond of, like, grotesque violence or anything. Really squicks me out. Not good feelings. Yeah. But if it's handled just right, it can be enjoyable. That's why I can play stuff like Splatterhouse or Doom or Doom 2016. Like, it doesn't feel like gore? If that makes any sense, it, it probably doesn't make any sense, but I don't know. There's a distinction for me. Yeah, it's kind of the difference between, like, 
oh, it's Doom having fun and like Mortal Kombat where you just rip a person in half and watch their rib cage fly out with their organs following after neat. And it's like, how do people play this game again now? We're back in the cold because reasons. But at least we made it through the hot lands. So until next time, everyone, we've got a whole new village by the looks of it to look through. Cool stuff. <laughs>